Hey, what's up guys? Mass Mechanics here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're lucky enough to bring to you a 2022 F350 Power Stroke uh, Lariat Ultimate Edition in the new Atlas Blue. So we're going to give it the once over, go through some of the options it's got, check it out real close, and uh, hopefully we like it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Here's our new power stroke from the backside. I really like the new tailgate. And this Atlas blue color is uh, really pretty in person. I, I really like it. It's nice because it's not quite dark enough where it's going to get dirty all the time. Like some of the darker colors that I've had in the past. But yet it uh, isn't too light where it looks kind of crazy looking, you know. And then this one has the LED package with the lights. So all the headlights, taillights, fog lights, those are all LEDs. That way you get that halo on the outside. Uh, when you uh, have your lights on. But yeah, it's got the 20 inch wheels also, you can see, those are optional. There's the exhaust. Uh, not really a huge fan of the way that exhaust looks. Uh, the gloves showing and everything, but that's that reinforced frame they talk about. And it does have the wheel liners, as you can see. Um, this is the uh, Lariat, and it's very well equipped, this one. Uh, it's got a lot of the uh, accessories and uh, options you can get on these things. I, I just don't really like that exhaust tip. You know, I, the dual outlets is cool, but the way the welds are showing, and you can already see rust on it, I just wasn't overly impressed. But this 3-inch receiver is uh, is definitely big and uh, menacing. Hopefully the chains uh, can go in nice. It has the automatic tailgate there. And you can see it has the tie downs uh, for that box link. There's the fifth wheel stuff with the puck system. There's the plugs for it. You got the nice uh, lighting set up in here where you push the button and the lights come on at night. So you can see that's that's a nice feature to have for sure. Um, it does have the spray and bed liner as you can see. There's the logo they give you. And uh, that came out really nice. It's not super thick feeling, but it uh, definitely seems to be uh, fairly strong. I felt some that are more rubbery. This one's a little bit uh, harder, so hopefully it holds up. We're uh, going to find out the hard way. It does have the bed step, uh, as you can see, too, the tailgate step. So on to the interior. We got the adjustable seats uh, with the memory here. Uh, you got the uh, fold-in mirrors, the power tilt telescope, all that good stuff. And uh, you got the adjustable pedals and... The flip down tailgate, you got lighting for on the end of the mirrors, which is cool. The tilt telescope wheel, um, get the big console. This is that uh, 12 inch screen everybody keeps talking about right here. Uh, it's definitely good size, it, it's got a great view. It's a Sync 4, and so far from using it sh just a short amount of time, this uh, worked great, no issues. You got heated, cooled seats. You got the dual zone, all that good stuff. And down here is where we got our, our wireless charging pad to charge your cell phone without having to plug it in. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are also uh, wireless. And um, it has the, uh, the extra switches up here so we can add in different stuff. Power uh, rear window. All the, and... Um, the frost on the rear window too got the big sunroof which uh is really nice gives you a lot of light in here the seats are uh, definitely real comfortable uh, a lot better than the old style that were in the old school trucks it's got all kinds of different power modes i don't know if it's eight or 12 or whatever ways they they like to advertise but definitely uh you can get pretty comfortable in these there's no way around it quite a bit of room in the back seat too you can easily fit three grown men back there without any trouble which is pretty cool compared to my uh extended cab we had on the channel that definitely did not have the room this thing does and on this side of the truck you can uh, see that we have power boards all the uh Nice stuff you'd find in like the Platinum and Limited trucks, but it's it's in the um, the Lariat, just very well equipped with Lariat to have all that. So not bad. You get your panoramic sunroof up there too. That's not bad when they don't leak. Um, they do have some leak issues with these, so 
definitely keep an eye on it if you buy one of these. Also, the cool feature there is that uh, safe or uh, vault, they call it. That way, if you ever have a firearm or just stuff you want to lock away, that's always nice to have. You got the mats, too. Those are the Ford uh, like knockoff weather techs, I guess you could call it. But that's the factory ones. I like how those boards tuck away like that, too. They really hide away nice. And there's a good view of the painted pocket version of the 20s you can uh, option in. Those uh, wheels are nice. I definitely like them. Um, under the hood, you got quite a bit going on in there. That's for sure. It's uh, definitely cramped in with that new 6.7. But um, it sure runs good, I'll tell you. It has a lot of power. You can see they one thing they did, I believe in 2020, is when they switched to have the airbox in front of the battery rather than behind it which made a lot of sense. Uh, I'm glad they did that so they can actually get some airflow right here through this under the hood uh, above the headlight area, which is really smart. Also, the other nice thing they did with this third gen, from what I understand, is the 19 and older had a plastic upper manifold. This one has the nice aluminum, much uh, less prone to having issues there, which is good. The only uh, drawback I believe off of these is our uh, our piping right here is still this rubber with the plastic coupling onto the throttle body rather than having it be aluminum or steel. That would be a definite upgrade to do for longevity because these uh, these type of clips are prone to uh, failure on diesels with all the pressure they push in and all. But we'll have to keep an eye on it and uh, make sure that doesn't uh, end up happening with this one. But you can see too they're uh, back to green coolant again so that's uh, interesting. I mean, it is easier to work with, so I guess that's a good thing for uh, matching with all our old school stuff we have here on the channel. So, here's our fuel filter. I believe they also changed uh, they changed out this spot, too, because this is the one that always typically breaks off on these and causes the fires and things like that. So, this is a slightly different style. You can see there's not a uh, like a clip over it to strengthen it. So I, I believe this one is stronger. So we'll find out when we uh, do our fuel filter change for the first time to see what's under there. But it looks, uh, and from what I hear, it is a better setup. So we'll see. But yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. That's uh, under the hood. Pretty uh, cramped. But once you spend a little time and look at stuff, you'll figure out where everything goes. There's just a quick overview of our new F-350. We just picked up the 22. Uh, we really like it so far, and we will be doing some mods to it and some uh, performance stuff, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on it. We also have some more content coming for our Corvette, our S10, and a few other things. So uh, stay tuned for all that, too. We are the Mass Mechanics.